Hey guys, I'm Rival. Welcome back to the channel. Here today, it's Monday, and every single Monday, we get a new weekly tower. So we're going to take today's video to take a look at that, take a look at some live events, and of course, the pack entertainer has some packs to open. Not many, but we have five. We have one Deluxe, Money in the Bank Series 2, Phenomenal, and WrestleMania. And then we have one Basic Series 2 pack. And the total MFP value comes out to 68000 700 for these packs the money in the bank itself is 25,000 which is so much but with these being deluxe packs we have a little better chance to actually get something good at 10 percent in these money in the bank packs we already have Shawn michaels but i'm still looking for these other i actually got that Shawn michaels twice so i got him and then i got 300 mfp for him how terrible is that i also like to take mondays to maybe complain a little bit Say what I'm liking in the game mode, so we'll get to that in a moment. But really quick, guys, week 22, they are giving out a pack. I love packs, so I'm happy they're doing this. A deluxe at that, not a basic. They started doing deluxe with the face paint frenzy in these. But before that, we saw nothing but basics. Nothing but basics. So the fact we got a deluxe, thank you. Now, what do you have to do to get the deluxe phenomenal pack? You have a six-man tag. You then have a Hell in a Cell 6-man, a 2-on-2, two -two, a 2-on-2, two -two, and a 1-on-1. One -one. Now, traditionally, Weekly Tower is pretty easy, right? Difficulty-wise, they're not very hard. Hell in a Cell 6-man, maybe it's going to take you a little bit of time compared to these other matches anyways. Match 2 took me the longest, but still, it only took about 7 minutes. You guys got it. In a Hell in a Cell, if you're having a hard time, maybe try and get outside of the ring. And if you can throw somebody up against the cell to break that open, then you have more spacing. For me, I just stayed in the ring. I used Solo. Opened up a can of whoop-ass on all five of these suckers. And I got the W. Before we go to live events. I love, love what they're doing with the birthday bash. I said I'd like to take this video to tell you guys some things I'm loving, hating. The birthday bashes... I am loving those because we are getting free packs. You see that WrestleMania pack right there, right? We go down one. Another thing I'm loving, the second chance. Or the last chance for this, I guess. A week ago, I did not have Xavier Woods. But with the birthday bash packs, I was able to get a WrestleMania one there. And out of that WrestleMania, I finally got Xavier Woods. But I didn't have him when this live event originally came out. But with the packs they've been giving out, I finally got him. And they came out with another live event. Same thing here. I already got Kofi Kingston. I already got Big E because I already had those cards. But I missed out on Woods the first time. Not the last chance. And make sure you guys go out and do this one because the 89 Amethyst Gunther, we're going to need him for this one. We have that 91 Diamond coming. It's still 11 days away, but he's coming soon. And then up here, we have another birthday bash. I just got done saying, loving these. And something else I, I really did like, and they haven't bounced back with it, which is a little disappointing. The Cash In Collective. Let me drop the webcam so you can see the price. So the price of one deluxe pack, guys, 17,500 my faction points. We multiply that by 20, it comes out to 350,000. But the price of the 20 box is only 276. So for Cash In Collective, they actually discounted it. And I'm a big fan of that, but they did not bounce back with it this one 497,000 that is just absolutely insane um they discounted it 3,000 I guess but to see it like 450 I mean even that's a lot but I don't know they just need to discount it then the summer heat same thing here um 17,500 you multiply that by 20 again that comes out to 350 I would like to see a discount is all. So I guess that was something I liked and now I'm disliking. Cash and Collective, that was so cool that they actually discounted that. Now, something else that is bothering me, Shane McMahon. He's still not even a manager on the screen here. Therefore, the diamond Shane McMahon manager card I have, I'm still not getting credit for. Now, something else that is bothering me is Faction Wars. This is the best way. To earn my faction points. I, I don't mind grinding out my wins in faction wars. I really don't because I like saving up for the 20 box. Trying to get my manager. Trying to get a big bulk of cards from the collection. I don't mind grinding for it. But this needs to be updated more. It just makes it a little easier. I'm not going as crazy when they expand the wins. They've only done it once. 
They've only done it once this year. And the reason it's so important, you're earning more my faction points. You're earning cards, tokens, packs. It makes it a little more bearable to play and it makes it a lot more fun. Like the energy from you guys, whether it be the comment section, the live streams, Twitter, I felt, you know, a lot of positivity, a lot of buzz around the game mode when they updated it. But they, they haven't updated Proving Grounds in a while. Faction Wars, we just spoke about that only once this year. They really need to get better with that. And guys, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Anything you're hating, anything you're loving. I am now moving on to the packs because I am a pack entertainer. What? I am a pack entertainer. So we got to open up some packs, man. We're going to start with the basic pack because then the rest are deluxe packs. And those are a little more exciting. We get a shot. See, we'll take that a 68. I didn't see what the duplicate was, but we got 200 MFP and 75 from that other one. Let's do a deluxe. Give me Charlotte. Give me a riddle. It's not Charlotte. Maybe a riddle. No, we do get Baron Corbin, who is a manager. And that's pretty crazy because I think some of you guys are struggling on getting that Xavier Woods. And we actually just got a duplicate. We move on a phenomenal pack, a deluxe. We don't have a whole lot of these cards, so I'm hoping we get one we don't have. That AJ Styles Ruby collection set card looks looks pretty good. We get a Maurice. I'll take it, man. It's a Sapphire. It's a card we didn't have. We'll go ahead and take that. Now we move on to the WrestleMania pack. Still chasing that Ruby. Roman Reigns. We will not acknowledge him here. Instead, we get a Becky Lynch. A duplicate. I actually really like that Becky Lynch. She's got Rabble Rouser. She's got Sting Like a Bee. A pretty good card. We move on to Money in the Bank Deluxe Pack. These are exciting, but do not give me another Shawn Michaels. It's not another Shawn Michaels. Idle in the background. We can't lose. We flip that bad boy over and Yokozuna. Very, very good card. 505 pounds. By the way, what was this man's calorie intake on the daily? I don't know. But he's got a top tier badge of Sting Like a Bee and Slippery Eel. Faction War Beast. Because he's got a tier 2 for Quick Winner and Unscathed. And in the live streams, I've heard, I've heard some good feedback on this guy. 87 Strength, Pin Escape, 78 Recovery, 87 Finisher, 83 Special. 63 Speed, which for 505 pounds... That's pretty quick. Hey, that made me so happy. I love getting Amethyst pulls on the video. Let's go. So we are now 16. 16 cards away from getting our very first pink diamond. Bianca Belair. That's going to be exciting. And then still nothing. Nothing above John Cena yet. So that pink diamond Cena... Still the top dog for a collector's level. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up to put me over. Drop a comment below. Subscribe if you are new. And one last thing that is bothering me. We can only create eight factions. I don't like that. Because I want to create like the NWO, the DX, Shield. I have my Elite Faction Wars. We got a couple for... Uh, we got a couple for Pack Aggression. Of course, the Bloodline. Uh, my personal favorites. All-time favorites, Stone Cold, The Rock, Cena, Brock Lesnar. That's my big four personally. But I want to be able to create more. Like, I want to create a faction of the best emeralds, the best sapphires, the best rubies, and so on. Just to maybe make live events a little easier on finding cards. I would love that. And that's all I got for real this time. Smash a thumbs up too. Put me over. Drop a comment below. Subscribe if you are new. Have those noties on because I'm going live with more faction wars today. So have those noties on. Peace out, guys.